Ooh, bus, magic bus. We got a big Choro Q bus today. So it's interesting what Choro Q will do. I don't. I think a lot of times like companies approach Choro Q for custom toys, and J JR is Japan Railway, so that's a huge company in Japan, of course. This is obviously used. It's been taped up, or maybe it's not used. I don't know. I just cut through it. I think the tape is just yellowed. But what's odd about this is there's no date on this thing that I could see, you know? So hopefully on the bottom of this thing I'll say what it, when it came out. Four, ax four axles, that's pretty cool. Hmm, there's a little bit of a bubble foam in there and then what, some sort of stickers or something. Some weird dust there. So let's get this out. Hopefully that's not... Uh, what is that stuff? That powder. <laughs> a long time ago, there was some sort of poisonous powder people mailed to each other. But for some reason, it eludes me. If I die during this video, please notify the authorities that uh, this powder here is poisonous. Anthrax. That's what it was. It was called anthrax. Someone would mail powdered anthrax envelopes around. It's ridiculous. Okay, anyways. This bus is called a Neoplan Megaliner. Uh, it even says on the photograph, Megaliner. But Neoplan is a German bus company, and this was produced between 1983 to the year 2000. It's obviously quad axle, double decker. It has a longitudinal, longitudinal rear engine back here. Uh, it's supposed to be a V8, an OM442 V8 by Mercedes-Benz. I don't know much about that engine. I'm just reading Wikipedia. Overall length of this thing is 15 meters or 49 feet and a few inches above that. The height would be 4 meters or th over 13 feet. And this thing would weigh 29,000 kilos or 63,000 pounds. So it's a big one. I mean, look at this photograph. That is just insane. And that's, that might, that's one of the largest buses I've ever seen. Okay, so let's see, take a look here. We've got six headlights. It kind of it matches that that JPEG there. Then the foreshortening. Four it's roughly two times as short. Granted, the photo isn't the exact same height, but it's close. So, it's crazy. I think this is actually four-wheel drive. No, never mind. It's only these. These are the one set of wheels that are different. So it's only that that wheel that's actually driving the bus. I wouldn't be surprised if the front wheels steer, though, both of them. Okay, so we have some rectangular taillights, and uh, they're close enough. These are all red. That's weird. I don't know. Where's the silver backup one? Strange. There's an escaped hatch up here. All right. I don't know why I like these Choroku so much, but I, I really like this. This is so cool. It's just proportionally so ridiculous. You know, look how tall it is in relation to the tires. So these are the standard five spokes uh, from Choroku. And then we have obviously transparent windows. It's pretty slab sided. Although actually no, this is actually raised right here, this molding. So that's neat. Down here is all smooth though, and it's tampo printed. Tampo printed. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's, I don't know if that's the code for the bus, or some sort of Japan Railway code. There's the JR logo, and the Neoplan. These are raised and painted silver, so that's nice. This is perfectly smooth. I don't know why there's a big white bar there though. License plate is missing, and then uh, that's the base. So you can just see the post running through to support the top. Sadly, no interior then. I was hoping there'd be some sort of interior, but no. Okay. This is all pretty much, well, the taillights are molded, but this is all flat up here and just printed. License plate area again, it's molded, but no license plate. And then a white piece of molding or something. Strange. No indication of the exhaust tip that I see in that photograph. 
totally blank. Most buses have like escape hatches, air, condi air conditioning up there, but uh, Cherokee skipped it. Let's see here. 2001. Okay, so pretty old. And this, is, this doesn't even have the Ariel Cherokee logo. So I wouldn't doubt that this was specifically made per order of Japan Railway. And maybe they sold them at like the bus stations, or maybe they're just free. Maybe they're like promotional items for like some of the employees or some sort of big Japan Railways events or something. Uh, I'm gonna imagine this would be a pretty slow rolling because it's so huge, but it does roll. Okay. Uh, this this white gunk, I find it just you rub it off and the tires are, are new, like new again. These older Cherokees have like I think silicone tires. They don't. They very rarely, if ever, crack and harden. They're still rubbery, so it's pretty nice. Now there's a couple stickers here quite yellowed though I guess I don't know there's no logical place to put this other than on the roof and then what is this one? Oh, these are the license plates okay let's try this out seeing how I have a dental pick let's see if the adhesive is even sticky I mean this thing's 20 years old You got it on pretty pretty even so that's a tip for you if you're gonna apply stickers or decals so it's good to have a really sharp thin object a toothpick or something like that so the adhesive only sticks when you want it to let's try the back this time I'm gonna put the tip on the bottom nope actually because that bumper is in the way I'll put the tip on the top coming from the top This license plate sticker is actually bigger than the recess for that license plate. Uh, that bumper's in the way, so I got a little eye, eyelash, eyebrow Q-tip here. Try to push that uh, glue down. But it's paper, this sticker, so you don't want to rub it too hard. You'll scratch the paper. All right, so that's cool. This is so huge. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna cut this with some scissors. I'll be back. Yeah, so I just cut off the extra clear, and then uh, stuck it on there. The roof is actually scratched a little bit from being moved around so much, but I'm okay with it. I have no clue if that's where that thing belongs, or if there even would be something up there for helicopters to see. Let's get this mega mega bus on the spin thing. Boy, I, I wouldn't, I can't even imagine, if this, if this thing was 164 scale, it'd probably be like this long, or maybe, yeah, it'd be so huge. Although if it was 187 scale, I'd consider buying it. So, a few other buses here. Let's start with a couple small churro cues. We have an old classic bonnet bus. We have a Renault bus of some sort. And I have some Hot Wheels real riders on that one. And then we have a tourist bus called the Kanagawa Loop Bus. I have no idea who makes that one. I think this might be an Isuzu. I could be wrong though. And then for multi-axles, we have this QB Art branded uh, Condor Dragon Bus. That's what it says on the bottom. Really cool. Re very cartoony how they swept the uh, roof line on that. And then I have a three axle here by Chorokyu. And it doesn't say what kind of bus it is though. But it's. It says Chiba Latte Latte Marines, which I think is a baseball team in Chiba or something. If I had to guess, which I usually do have to guess. Okay, so those are my super deformed mm, giant sized buses. I don't know which one I like the most. 
I, I definitely would say this is out, although it's still pretty cool, it's an articulated bus. But this thing is massive, very squarish. Well, this is just cool, you know, how swept it is. And actually all the details of this, like everything's molded, all the windows, there's a lot of raised surfaces, recessed surfaces, queer headlights on that one. The license plates are printed on, so yeah, I'm gonna go with QB Art. I uh, have to get get that off eBay though. All right, so anyways, we gotta let this guy spin on its own. So I like this bus enough that I went and 3D printed my own wheels to match the uh, photograph a little bit better. You see here where the uh, non-drive wheels are actually protruding past the tire, and then the drive wheel is actually recessed, and it's got the 10 bolt. Uh, pattern and all that stuff so yeah I think it looks better now with more realistic rims so I think it's time to whip out a cartoon character I haven't shown this one off before I picked it up locally loose it's a uh, Robocop's ED209 and seeing how that thing was pretty big compared to Robocop well it's still pretty massive actually but hey what can I do it's a there aren't many super deformed Robocop figures uh, I do believe this thing is made by Takara Tomy, if I'm correct. That's what the research I did online. You can search it out on eBay. I think they come in a set, but I think they're quite expensive. So I was lucky enough to find this loose on its own. Okay, well, it's another interesting bus here by Choro Q. If they, hopefully I'll stumble into some more weird, uh, weird castings from this brand, and I will get those later on. Thanks for checking this out. Bye.